Welcome back, ED fam. If you're new here, this light freaking sucks. And my name's Amanda. My boyfriend's name's Daniel. And he's about to be here in a second. So don't click out yet because it's going to be the both of us this vlog. Anyways, I am leaving work right now. It is currently 4.13. Daniel and I are going on one of our first blind dates tonight at 7 o'clock. So come along with us while we go on a blind date. And I will see you at home. Daniel just texted me. He is leaving from his best friend's house, which is about an hour or so away. So I'm hoping we will get home around the same time. Well, it's not going to take me an hour to get home. Anyways, so when I get home, we have to figure out what I'm going to wear. Because I'm trying to be cute because I'm going on a date with my man. And let's see if Daniel will wear something other than a hoodie and some shorts. Stay tuned to find out. All right, so I just got home and Daniel is still not here, but I just checked his location and he should be here literally any minute. <sighs> okay, so we need to figure out what to wear because now it is five o'clock. We have to beat our plants in five hours and that's including drive time. So help me figure out my outfit because I'm kind of struggling. I'm kind of between two things. All right, so I'm between this dress. It's super cute. It has like a tie up here or this two piece it's kind of like high-waisted pants with this and then also the back is like open which i think is kind of cute it is so hot today it's literally like 93 degrees and my friend that we're going to double date with said that it's going to be like a casual vibe so i'm thinking these will work i don't know with maybe like some cute sandals or something i don't really know what daniel's wearing I guess we'll have to ask him when he gets here. Something tells me he's going to say he's not sure or he doesn't know, but it's okay. <laughs> so honestly, I think the only way we're going to figure out what to wear is to try it on. And we should probably do that since I still have to do both my hair and my makeup. So let's get to trying on. Okay, guys. So I just tried this on. Clearly it's see-through because you can see my underwear. But of course I will change my underwear if I wear it, but I just, I don't know. It's so cute and I love the way it fits, but I don't love that it's see-through. I guess let's try on the other one and if the other one looks like trash, let's put on color skin underwear and see how it works out. All right, 80 fam. So this is cute. It is cute. I definitely am going to have to tie it tighter. It's cute. But it's not like giving the vibes I'm going for. This is like more chill and like, y'all, I can't talk. I just got off work. I'm way too tired. My mind is not functioning. But um, what I'm trying to tell y'all is this just is not the one. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to try this on again, except try skin color underwear and I guess go from there. Look at my little rash. Okay. So... I like that outfit. That's cute. You do? I yeah. like it, but I, like it. I just don't know if it's like the vibes are going for it today. I like it. I'm just scared. I guess the top's fine, but I'm scared you're going to be too hot. Is it like thin? Yeah. It's, look, oh, when yeah, I stretch it. Thin. But I don't know. I think I'm going to try the dress. Do you know what you're wearing? Not yet. I'm so hot. Do you want me to get you some water? <sighs> um, you see this? Oh, I'm sweaty. But, um... Yeah, I think I'm going to take an ibuprofen too. I know I never do, but okay. I feel a headache coming on. Okay, yeah, you want to get it ahead of time. Do you want um, ice water or just regular water? Uh, oh, I'll take a lemon LaCroix. Okay, sounds good. I'll go get that for you. Thanks, baby. <laughs> okay, short intermission while we get him something to drink. <laughs> you love how organized our fridge is. We definitely need to clean it out. I just exposed us. Was that a sarcasm? <laughs> what? I love how organized the fridge is. I said we definitely need to clean it <laughs> <Yeah>, out. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm going to wear this dress. We just have to figure out the underwear situation. Uh, was it the one you just had on? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that one. I like it. It's just very see-through. It is very see-through. Okay. It's very, very see-through. So I think we're going to take a break and I'm going to figure that out, guys. <laughs> All right, so I just finished getting ready. And I curled my hair. My dress is still see-through, but I'm wearing tan underwear, so it is what it is. So we have to leave in a second, but I thought it would be fun to go get Daniel's reaction of me already, because I like I'm so lazy and never get ready. So let's go get his reaction. Feeling cute or whatever. You look very beautiful, baby. 
Thank you. I feel like my eyebrows look kind of big because I like them. Um, thanks. But it's just I have to get them done. So I tried to carve it around. I think I got makeup on my hand. Mm. I tried to carve it around them. So they got like really large, but mm. it's fine. All right. Well, I need to put my shoes on. Yeah, probably should put shoes on. I'm not wearing shoes either. Hey, Rube. I want to wear sandals, but my toes are not done, so mm. I don't know. But I just feel like tennis shoes do not go with this outfit. Yeah, I feel that. You know what would go good, though, with it? Your little lifty ones that you have. I forget what they're called. The black ones? The brown ones. With the tan? Yeah. That's what I was thinking, but then my toes will show. So? I guess no one's going to look at my toes. Okay, sounds good. I'm going to put on my shoes, and we'll see you guys when we get to the restaurant. Um, no. Okay, guys, we just got here. Yes, we did. We're still waiting on our friends. Are you nervous? Are you nervous for our double date? No. Are you excited? Yeah. Me too. I'm excited for a new restaurant too. Me too. Never been over in this area. It's this. We'll keep you posted if it's good.
and then I think when we got home or something, you noticed it was gone, and yep. he had like just got paid, so it was like a full lot of money. And at that time, I was getting paid just cash. Like it was like when I was like I, I don't know, I was pretty young, like in my early twenties. Right. And like I, you know, I was just getting paid, and I cashed my check. So mind you, a whole entire paycheck is inside his wallet, and so we're able to go back and the next day, I think. The morning, because I tried to go back and they were closed. Right, okay, so the very next morning, we get there right as they're opening, they give him his wallet, it's empty. Yeah, they, they, they had my wallet, but whoever found it took all my cash, it was like two grand. And they wouldn't tell us who was working that night, no, they would not tell us anything. Yeah. And so then Daniel gets his wallet back, mind you, it wasn't even like a fancy wallet, so it's like cool he got his wallet back, but all of his money is gone. His hard working, hard worked, er, his hard earned money is now gone. And then they try to make it better by giving him movie tickets. Yeah, I was like, I don't want these. I'm never coming back here. I should have told him that. Right. So that's what. So instantly, like Daniel's mind goes to that when I can't find my purse. Like, oh my gosh, like it's at the restaurant. Like all of this stuff. He's freaking out. So I'm not knowing what to do because our friend that we're that that's visiting lives closer to the restaurant but at the end of the day like she's going back to texas tomorrow so i don't really know yeah but um so we're like panicking and so i decide to call the restaurant and i explain it to them and they're like yes we have that and so that was a relief so oh, they, yeah like with the quickness that's cool right so at least like it's there so i'm like okay what time do you close Oh, she's like, okay, you can just come right now. Just come to the front and grab it. And I was like, oh, well, I live like 40 minutes away. Like, what time do you close? And she was like, oh, we're actually closed right now. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> and then, like, tomorrow is Mother's Day, and we're going out of town. And then also, like, I don't really feel okay with not having my personal night, like, right. with a stranger. Right. And so she checked with the bar, and I guess the bar stays open later. So they're holding my purse. And so I guess we'll keep you updated when we get back to the restaurant if all of my stuff is still in there. Right. So stay tuned, Eddie fam. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe for this amazing journey <laughs> because I feel like something always goes wrong. Right. <laughs> but it's okay. It keeps life interesting. <laughs> all right, guys. So this is the moment of truth. We got it back. Now let's see if everything is... It honestly feels like there is. It feels so empty, but I think it's because I don't have my wallet yeah. in here. Which is good. There's cash. No. It's like so hard to know. You know? Because in my head yeah. I'm like, this wasn't flipped over. You know what I mean? But like, how am I really gonna know? Okay, I guess Let's just take everything out. As long as my debit card, my license and stuff are in here, I'm fine. So I have my debit card. I have all it looks like I have all of my credit cards. I don't want to yeah. flash them, but it looks like I have all of my credit cards. Okay, no. Bro. I feel like if they were gonna steal from me, and not that I'm not saying this is a lot of money, but like if I have them having multiple twenties in my bag, like and you have a ten there and a five, and I have like all of my credit cards, yeah, there's no way. And yeah. honestly, when they gave me back the bag, they they didn't like the whole experience. Once I called, like, it seemed fine. The manager seemed really nice. She seemed like one of the nicest ones there. That's the thing too is when we got someone to come give us our bag, they straight up said like the manager is bringing it to you. So that made me feel good. Like she wasn't yeah. trusting anyone with it except herself. Yeah. And she even said like we were hoping you guys would come back. You know. Mm -hmm, exactly. So I'm glad that this vlog had a happy ending. It was a happy experience all the way through. Time to go home and go to bed because yes. I'm tired. Don't turn on the car. It's. Don't turn the car yet. <laughs> don't want any copyright music. I was turning on the car when we don't want music to play. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, it's time to go home because we do have an early morning and a long day, which we will be vlogging for you. So you'll see that as well. So until next time, Eddie, until next time, Eddie, I'm for real this time. Bye. And we, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Yes, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers tomorrow. Later, guys.